walking 10,000 step ultimate good health. What are you doing? $100 million to get up to speed. My name is Kelty O'Connor, and this is my story of how I walked 9,125,000 steps in one year and how it changed my life. Three years ago, I, I was your typical university student. I was living on White Ave. If you don't know what White Ave is in Empton, it's kind of the university party street. I lived a block away from it. You would think walking was second nature. No. I lived a block from 7-Eleven. I would drive my car to 7-Eleven. Now I was fit, I was in shape, and I bet you I walked maybe, aside from working out, a thousand steps a day. At this time in my life, I was really confused. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, I didn't know what kind of fitness I was into, I was confused, I was lost, I didn't know what career was, I didn't even know what degree I wanted to finish with, I was doing two at once, early to mid 20s like crisis of being like, who the hell Am I? I packed up my car and drove across the country to go to St. Mary's in Halifax. something I was confused about. You don't drive in Halifax. First, everyone's in university. No one has a car. Second, the streets are this big. So you can't park anywhere. You can't really drive anywhere. And so it's literally, you just can't drive. So I had this SUV at the time and I couldn't even drive it. So I started walking. At the time I got a Fitbit and suddenly I started noticing since I've moved to Halifax, I'm getting like a lot of steps. Competitive side in me was kind of, kind of digging it. You know what? I'm getting victory points. I'm beating people. Like this is fun, which is really lame looking back. Okay, we're talking about steps guys, we're talking about steps. Fast forward, I kind of just fell in love with walking. At the time, Halifax, it's right on the ocean. I would walk down to the ocean. It was kind of my more transportation. And then I started realizing I missed driving in a car and listening to music. So, you know, I became a douchebag and got AirPods and would just walk around downtown, walk everywhere. <laughs> I did my two years in Halifax. I moved back to Edmonton, Alberta. I felt I kind of found myself in Halifax. I knew I started my YouTube channel there. I kind of had this idea of what I wanted to do with life and fitness, but I was still, it's like I was starting to feel more me, but I was still confused, still lost. Moved back to Edmonton and was hanging out with my friends, with my family again, and felt like I was just in a rock. I had stuff going on, but I didn't, and I kind of had some stuff I liked, but I didn't know, and there was almost too many things I wanted to do with my life but nothing. Then I got into this kind of like funk. You ever been to Edmonton, Alberta? It gets really cold. I subconsciously noticed I've actually upgraded to the Apple Watch. Apple came out with a product. I bought it. It stole my money. Wow, I'm such a millennial. And I started noticing my steps going way down because I was driving everywhere again. And I didn't really think anything at the time. I'm like, I'm still working out and all this. But I remember those few months the confusion coming back. Like I had worked so hard for those two years and kind of started feeling a bit of the groove of who I wanted to be and all this. I couldn't understand it. I couldn't put it, I couldn't even fathom. It just was like something was off, but it was so off that I couldn't even realize something was off and there was other issues going on with my life too as well. But it was almost like I just had no way to sort through it. I just had no outlet. My brain and my emotions just being like this, just tension, just constant tension. I hated that I was driving again. I hated that I was polluting the earth, that I wasn't moving my body as much. And it just, I felt this tension always during my day of just being trapped and just like not having this freedom, especially being inland in Edmonton. And just that it was just this, this feeling of trap. Like I wanted to soar as cheesy as that is. And I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. I didn't know what I was gonna be doing with my life. So money I was worried about. And so gas, I was like, you know, I can cut that off. I'm gonna walk everywhere. So I'd bundle up December, January in Edmonton and I'd walk everywhere and things start to feel good. I decided to make a lot of big, big life decision. I left a relationship that wasn't working. I decided to foster other friendships, just really get closer with my best friends. I decided I wanted to be closer with my family, really got a groove of what I wanted to be when I grew up. And I realized it was because it was this time of reflection. It was this time of meditation and I was just moving my body. All just started clicking together how human it felt to just 
walk. Just made an emissions. There'll be times I have to drive. That's just our reality, our world now. But I'm just gonna try and walk everywhere. So I didn't say I'm gonna walk 25,000 steps a day. It just ironically, when I choose to walk everywhere, that's usually where my steps end up around. And you know what? You're not gonna drive, you're gonna walk, and you're just going to explore. My God, I'm not saying this was the reason for everything. But there was a sense of clarity, a sense of finding myself, a sense of just, we're meant to move, we're meant to walk. It's so therapeutic that I finally felt I was truly giving back to the earth. Sustainability is something I've always been so passionate about. And when I was away from the ocean, I, this attachment to the earth, I just felt I didn't have it. I felt so separated from my body and my thoughts and just never having a sense to just be with me. Over the next year, I walked in Edmonton. Then I went traveling. Get up in the morning, I'd explore. When I went traveling with friends, instead of just taking Ubers and walking, I was like, no, let's walk, and we would walk places. And honestly, how many times have you gone home from the bar, and that's always the best time of the night when you're just like talking to your friends, you're doing stuff, you're just out? This is what life is about, these moments. I discovered what I wanted to do. I discovered the relationships that were important to me. I did self-discovery through self-help books and podcasts and it's cheesy, but when else are you gonna find the time to do that? My health started improving. I'm gonna be honest, I, I touched base in this a little bit in the past, but I've lost my period many times throughout my life. And for me personally, it's not over-exercising, it's not under-eating, no, it's, it's a stress thing. And when I started walking, it was just this like stress off my body because I could finally comprehend everything that was going on. It just feels so right and through a couple walks I decided one time I'm gonna go on a trip to Toronto I was with an agency at the time they set up some things there was an opportunity they mentioned and I went for it and I remember walking downtown Toronto looking up in the buildings and just knowing in that moment I have to move to this city and I know if I had not been exploring downtown, I wouldn't have felt that same buzz, that same electricity. Flew back to Edmonton, two weeks later, packed my bags and moved to Toronto. Since I moved to Toronto, I've never felt more me. I've never been more inspired. This is when my YouTube has grown. I've been on YouTube for three or four years. I don't think anyone who existed till about three months ago. I truly found myself over this last year, simply from spending time in my day to walk. Walking is the best thing we can do for our environment. must temporarily interrupt this program to bring you a sponsor so Kelty can afford to pay for her future for a baby and give it the best life possible and take it on all the walks. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. See, it's a square. It's a place where you can have a website and online store, marketing tools and analytics. It's all on one platform to build a beautiful online presence. Easily import content from Instagram, Twitter, directly onto your site. The blog lets you manage your own comments while you're on the go. It's blogging! Its blogging platform supports a sharing button so your visitors can share your content on their Twitter, Google Plus. Do we still go on Google Plus? Anyways, any social medias, if you got a blog post, they can share it on it. Pinterest, Pinterest! Check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you are ready to purchase your own domain and website, you can go to squarespace.com slash kelty and get 10% off to save your dollar bills to purchase other stuff. They go in these boxes. Yeah! Square! Square! Well, Research Kelty is gonna pop right in here and just uh, mention the fact that uh, just because there's a stat, it doesn't always mean correlation, causation. But just because there's a stat for something doesn't always mean it's accurate. The stat is the most environmental impact you can do for the world is going plant-based vegan. Yes and no. Technically speaking, if we are all to go vegan, yes, that is the best thing we can possibly do for our environment. But actually, when you get up on the day, you as an individual, it's not. That chicken breast that's in the packaging and that beef, if you choose not to eat it, it's still there. It's still got produced. Unfortunately, you choosing not to. Now, if we all choose not to, but when you wake up in the morning, if I wake up and choose not to eat meat, it's not infecting anything. Now, if I choose not to drive my car to work and choose to walk, I directly in that day do not contribute to more carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. Now, because I'm a fitness channel, I'm gonna touch base on it a little bit. I'm not telling you that the ultimate way to get in shape is to walk more, but it's an easy way to improve your cardiovascular endurance. You're going to burn more calories in a day, so if you're always like, my metabolism is so slow, we're not meant to sit all day, we're meant to move. My digestion got better, my skin got better, I had more vitamin D. I go to the doctor to get my blood work and my vitamin D is on point. The cheap thing for your physical and mental health. It helps our environment. Your mental health is going to improve your physical health. It's the cheesiest thing. I get it. I'm telling you to walk more, but we all need to. 
did that site just give you? Anxiety from sitting in traffic. I don't have to worry about finding a parking spot. No worries that I ever have to worry about driving home drunk. You can't give me a DUI when I walk everywhere, guys. Over the last year, I committed to walking everywhere I physically possibly could. Not even taking public transportation, just walking. And I found myself this year. I'm not the dream, but I'm on the way to living my best life and I'm loving every moment of it. So there's a lot of stress in my life, a lot of uncertainty, but every once in a while I just get outside and walk. And in those moments, you can really just self-reflect. I encourage you all, next time you get to go in your vehicle, maybe just walk. Just start with a 10 minute walk outside, have the sun in your face, and trust me, it might be the best thing you've ever done.